teachers, it's Kat from catteacher.com. I just wanted to show you guys uh, what it's like to use your network and devices check to make sure that Minicam is running smoothly in the data classroom. So basically, you can go to your network and devices check. Uh, that's pretty normal. You can find it in Chrome or in your teacher center, and you're going to start checking, right? It'll check your internet connection at the very beginning. And then the second thing is going to be quite important because it's going to show if you have Minicam downloaded correctly, right? So right now you've just basically got your uh, default webcam. This is my integrated webcam. It's my internal webcam on one computer. This is my partner's computer. And basically I haven't downloaded Minicam yet, so there's only one camera. But this is where you're going to need to go to check if Minicam is going to show up immediately as your default camera or if you might need to change a few settings. So uh, at this point in time we're going to finish downloading Minicam and we're going to see if this works. So bear with me while I download uh, the other bit and I'll get back to you in a sec. All right, so I have downloaded Minicam and I've set it up with my integrated webcam. It was pretty simple. Uh, I just put up my quick background, which is great. And uh, so I just want to go and check the teacher center with data. Uh, you can do this on the app, on the desktop app or on the Chromebook. Uh, sorry, or on the Chrome um, internet browser, which is great. And so I start the checking and of course we have to run through the Wi-Fi again. And so the internet connection. Oh no. Okay, so uh, this happens to a couple of people. Basically, uh, your integrated webcam and many cam virtual webcam. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit of a problem because there's a tiny bit of a glitch in the data classroom, which means that when you're trying to switch over, it takes a lot of extra effort when you're in the classroom. So let's try to check on two different ways with two different computers that you can fix this problem. Basically, um, I'm on my partner's computer. It's a Dell Inspiron 15. And this fix worked immediately with him, but it did not work on my computer. So I'll show you both. Um, you can refresh new devices, all that stuff, but it just isn't working. So let's check out how to, how to fix it. Basically, what you're going to want to do is go to your device manager. This is the easiest way to uh, have full access to what's going on in your computer for this problem. You have your integrated webcam here, which is cool. Um, at this point, I'm going to uh, disable this device. So yes, I want it to stop functioning. Don't worry, you can enable it. Uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna break anything. It. Uh, you're just gonna hit yes, and we're just gonna let that load. It'll probably ask me to restart my computer. Okay. So uh, you must restart your computer for these changes to take effect, which means that I'm going to uh, turn off this recording while I restart, and then we'll have a look at it in a second. Okay, so I've uh, disabled the camera. I've restarted my camera. Let me just kind of get back into everything. Uh, we've got the device manager, and I'm going to go back in because I know that my mini cam is still enabled, right? I haven't disabled it at all. So the imaging devices, uh, let me go ahead and pull up mini cam. Uh, obviously you can't start the video because there's no video uh, to start, which is okay. Uh, so let's see if we can fix that problem. Let's re-enable it. So let's enable it. And let's see if basically now that we go into, so here let's, uh, so it's enabled. So here's my integrated webcam, great. Uh, this should work. Cool. You can see me now. Um, I'm going to go to my teacher center and I'm going to go to the network and devices check again and see if this worked. Now basically what we want to do is we want Minicamp to be the top camera because if that works then you can just enter the data classroom without having to change your camera and there's no. So let's see. Yep. It totally works. Okay, so uh, you see that Minicam virtual webcam is now the top camera. And it's not the same camera integrated webcam. Now, this did not work on my computer. This worked on my partner's computer, thank goodness, because I didn't want to have to bring in an external camera. But I'll show you how on my other computer, uh, if this fix doesn't work for you, we can try one more and see if it works. Okay, so I'll see you soon on my other computer. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. Okay, so now I'm on my normal computer the Asus VivoBook S14. This is what I normally use to teach on, although I've been using my partner's computer because he has an ethernet port and I just don't at this moment. Uh, so basically I'll show you that uh, that that didn't work for me. Uh, disabling and then enabling the integrated webcam did not work for me. Mine is 
Um, it's probably just got some programming that just wants it to be the default cam. And so I had to maneuver it just a little bit. Basically, if I go to my network and devices check, um, and I have a look here, and I do some detecting. Yep, yep, everything looks good. So basically what happens here, okay, so this doesn't even show up. Uh, if it doesn't show up at all, I tend to like open it up, press the X, refresh my new devices, and I can see that it's just my integrated camera. And again, it's pushed to the top and many cam is pushed to the bottom and it does work, which is fine, but it's really annoying to have to go into the classroom every single time to change it. So since disabling it didn't work, I had to physically bring in an external webcam. Now I love my external webcam. Uh, it's great in low lighting. It does look really good. So I'm going to show you now what I do. Uh, let me just go ahead and so um, I have this external webcam. We'd bought it for different reasons anyway, so this one's the Logitech HD 1080p. Um, but if you can buy a cheap one, that's pretty easy. Um, basically, I'll just kind of set this guy up. Kind of might cover the camera for a second. Do, 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 do. And I'll plug him in. And then I'll kind of show you what ends up happening. So I'm going to need to disable this top camera because he won't go away otherwise. So I'm going to disable this guy, push Minicam to the top, and have my uh, external one come in underneath it. So let's have a look and see how to do that. Basically, uh, like before, you can just go to the device manager and you'll have a look here. If you come into the device man, oh, I've got two open, that makes sense. Okay, so uh, we've got the cameras here. I've got the USB, which is my internal one, and I know that, uh, but basically if I go to my imaging devices, I now have two. So my Logitech HD webcam is uh, sitting right here and so this one's here which is fine i'm going to go ahead and disable this uh, don't want to uninstall it i just want to disable it update driver enable device but it is enabled very strange no i don't want to do that let's see update oh Okay, well, I don't know why, but now it says disabled. So I was just clicking on stuff and now it says disabled, which is fine. So disabling it will stop it functioning. That's exactly what I wanna do. So yes, I might have to restart, which means I'll pick up the recording right after that. Yep, okay, so I'll pick up with the recording in a second. Okay guys, so I have disabled uh, my old one. Uh, you can look at my beautiful sky cat, space cat, he's beautiful. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm going to get into Minicam. Uh, so can't start video, let's see. So yep, this is my external webcam. My other one is disabled, so you can't see it anymore. So we'll just click on this. Yep, that's me. So it's a little bit higher up than I'm used to seeing. And then when I get into the dad dad classroom, let's double check the network and devices. So come on dad to class. All right, just let that run through. All right, excellent. So thank you, YouTube, appreciate it. Uh, so when I'm in my network and devices check, I'm just gonna have a look at what's going on here start the checking, get my Wi-Fi, get my internet. Yes, internet is detected. Oh, good, okay. So now I hit next. Whew. Okay, so uh, Manicam virtual webcam is the top one. My external webcam is now at the bottom. So it's gonna be kind of in the order that you installed it basically with my partner's computer um, it was the default one, and then when I disabled it, Minicam went to the top, enabled it, it ended up sitting at the bottom. With my computer here, that did not work. So I had to go to the second step, which was to actually have a physical external camera, which is annoying, but it just kind of depends on your computer and your into integrated webcam. So I hope you guys uh, get something fixed, you know, make your life a little bit easier on Dada. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time on catteacher.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.